Google have just released an AI research assistant that just doesn't find information, but thinks. It plans its strategy, it finds information, it thinks about what that information means in context, it'll plan again, and then deliver you an expert level report that you can also consume as an audio overview. Today, we're gonna to put deep research to the test with two use cases, just to give you a flavor of what I've been using this for both at home and in work. Let's head over to Gemini and see this agent work. Deep Research is available in the Gemini tool. That's gemini.google.com. And then when you come in here, you'll have a couple of different options for tools. We wanna to pick Deep Research with 2.5 Pro as our tool. And the first use case we're gonna look at today is the papal election. So I wanna find detailed report on the five candidates most likely to become the next Pope, their nationality and background, career within the church, positions, impact on the church if elected, and some more information. And really what I'm looking for here is I want this report to be really based on what Catholic scholars are saying. So Deep Research has taken my prompt and then it has created a more refined prompt for me. So you can see in here, it's looking for key milestones, analyze their writings, evaluate their influence. And really what I wanna show in this use case is that we can take something like a news story, but just add so much more expert opinion with Deep Research, as Deep Research can access those resources that would take us a long time to even find. So you can see the thinking going on behind here. Deep Research has thought in four steps. It's initially looked at these websites and you can see a lot of Catholic specific websites here. Then it's identified from those websites, the top candidates, and then it's doing a in-depth profile of each candidate. So it's picked uh, Parlin here as one of the candidates, and then it's looking at specific points about him, digging into specific news story to get more context. And this actually took six or seven minutes. I've sped this up a little bit, but it's done the same for every single candidate candidate and then it's completed his research and now I have my report. So it starts off with some context around why the Pope seat is vacant, some key factors, the leading contenders, and then it is going to introduce each of those contenders and give a detailed profile on each one. In that profile, it's answered my questions of the impact on the church, but most importantly, it's given me that probability that I was looking for. And it goes in and it'll do this for each of these candidates. It will give the alignment with the previous regime along with a odds of them being elected. The reason I chose this story is that while it is in the press, I think that there's very niche resources and very niche publications that add a lot of color to this story, which I would have no clue about. And just wanted to show how good deep research is at unearthing some of those materials and then bringing them into a structured report. And you can see at the end of this, it's given a table breaking down the five candidates, their age, their odds, and basically all I need to know in this table. So that's one way to get quick information out but another way to get quick information out is that given this report we can then convert this to an audio overview and you just do this by clicking generate audio overview and this generates a podcast in here so it generates like notebook lm a five minute podcast on the overview let's take a listen all right welcome to this deep dive so pope francis has passed and uh the college of cardinals is set to convene on may 7th that's right, a really pivotal moment. We've been digging into the materials you sent over about the main contenders, the ones being talked about for the papacy. The papabili, as they call them. Exactly. And our goal here is really just to boil down the key things you need to know about these potential successors. It's also open to discussing celibacy. His potential election would be, well, historic, the first Asian pope. Absolutely. Reflecting the church's global shift. But there was that issue mentioned. Ah, uh, yeah. The management troubles when he was at Caritas Internationalis. Their leadership was removed, wasn't it? It was. So while his vision is compelling, those administrative questions, they might give some cardinals pause. Still, a very strong contender representing a growing part of the church. For the next use case, I wanna highlight this local decision support. So what I'm saying here is that I want to buy a house in South Dublin in these four local areas. I have two children, need a three bed house. Please provide some information. What our house is selling for, what are the primary schools like? What is security like? What are challenges faced by people? And ensure you have a mix of results from the public and results from the media. So this has come up again with a more detailed plan on these four areas. The most important thing we're looking for here is real life accounts of buying experiences. So again, this is doing some thinking 
understanding the areas, doing a deep dive. And this is pulling all sorts of information here from planning applications to transport to real estate websites and then digging into message boards to get that first hand account of what's going on. So first I get a very distilled executive summary of what I'm looking for, but then we go into a really detailed report which gives a comparable look at the four areas, gives really community, security, amenities, transport, all that sort of stuff in here. It's giving the pros and cons of the areas and that's from a point of view of the people that live there. It gives a snap shot comparison here on what you would want from each area then it goes deep deep into the property market so it's going into recent sales here it's going into new developments and it's giving us a snapshot of what the asking prices and the selling prices we've asked it to go deep into family life so it's giving primary schools in there but also what the demand is like in those primary schools what people have said are the key challenges here we're going now into transport links how long it takes to get to the city center, uh, what's the on-peak and the off-peak time, and then into safety concerns in each area. Finally, we're looking at what real people are saying about the common challenges of buying properties in this area, and then a final recommendation about each area you should choose based on your values. I think this is a really good example of how Deep Research can help you with decision support and really that local voice. I've used Deep Research from everything from analyzing the Irish car market for a very niche launch to planning for my kids' fourth birthday party, and I've always got really impressive results. This feels like the future of AI. If you found this video useful, please like and comment down below and I'll see you very soon for another Google AI video.